Hello, and welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 Blind Playthrough with me, Hollow. This is Drang Lake Castle. And we're about to enter it for the first time. I hope you're excited, because I really fucking am. First order of business, find a bonfire. Because... I have not been to one in a while since walking up here. Alright, we got a corridor, big stairways, checking underneath this uh, stairway first as priority. Um, all the walls are very... Look at that armor set. That looks really fucking cool actually. I bet it's heavy. Right, so we have the Drang Lake Guardians I think, and they have, they have a sun on their shield, I think it's interesting to note. Um, they're quite hard for me to deal with. They have quite a large range. They have high poise, because I'm not staggering them. And they attack very quickly, so I, I'm going to struggle to dodge them. There, stagger them with a power attack. One down. One is a lot easier to deal with than two. Hopefully we can learn something about them if we get a drop of their armor, and we have had a drop here, and it is... Scions armor, so they're called Scions. Or Scions. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, well, they have some powerful moves there. Holy shit. Holy shit. That, that was the same reaction I felt when I saw the, uh... The knights inside of... The, the the old iron keep for, for the first time the captains with their lightning swords anyway what was it we got the scion's armor replica of the arm of the loyal knight scion this solidly crafted gear offers high defense sir scion was widely known as the kingdom's most leal knight and when the giants invaded, he volunteered to lead the advance party, but was slaughtered most dishonorably. The king commissioned replicas of Sion's accountrements uh, and bestowed them to promising knights, but not long after they donned the armor did they go thoroughly mad. Wow. That's crazy. What does it look? Well, we know what it looks like, but how does it suit? Like, what's the weight and the... Armor values and such. So, peasant attire, then we have the. Yeah, well, it's lucky we actually managed to find the main part. Wow! Though it is quite heavy, it's quite high stats. I quite like how it looks, actually. Oh, it's got a sweet cape. Done. <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> Alright, let me just change the armor a bit. Alright, this is the set that we're going to be using for a little bit in the Drang Lake Castle for now. Looks really, really cool. It's the cape, man. Capes. Just something about them. Gotta love them. Though they're very dangerous things to wear when flying near jets, as we've learned from the Incredibles. Right. Um, so I was saying before we fought those, the walls are very smooth in here, and it makes me think there's going to be a lot of uh, invisibles, illusionary ones. We've just seen the little message, bonfire ahead. We have a royal knight group over there and one of these cyan knights ambush ahead well i saw it behind me but are they talking about in front of me as well yes they are the issue right now is that yes my right katana is at risk so i really do need to find a bonfire apparently there's a bonfire here But I'm not convinced. Those look like a long nights a little bit. These statues. Bonfire head in short comfort. Be wary of confidence. What's in here, man? A lot of blood stains and a big looking fellow. Two of them. One of the doors that requires the king's seal and two knight statues, potentially like living. And a door. 
And the glorious and most wonderful bonfire. Thank Christ for that. You saved the day. Now I can go back and thoroughly inspect the area as I want to. Um, however, there is one thing that I'm going to do first, which is go back to Medulla, upgrade my offhand katana to plus 10, and get an extra Ectus Flask because I have a shard to make use of. Also, this area is known as King's Gate. I think that's very cool. We've returned to the uh, castle. With this fella stabbing us in the back, I do not appreciate that, sir. You shall die. Okay, so... There was this corridor here with an ambush sort of waiting for us, except it was facing the wrong way. And that shall be how I choose to punish them. I was hoping that that would uh, do an AoE explosion hitting all three. Sadly, it did not. But hey, we killed two out of three without having to deal with any combat, and he just just barely clipped me, that sucks. So, I want to check out this higher up area first. There's the underground section, it seems, but, uh, yeah, this says pointless. <laughs> well, it is if there's no illusionary wall in here. What a troll! God damn it, Frontsoft. They don't do anything like that without a hidden meaning, so I'm not convinced, but... We have this main hall here, and although I do want to go check under the ground and see what's underneath, I also am desperate to see who this person is, as I saw some strange sort of person invisible up here. Who are you, and why are you basically invisible? Who are you? I asked first. And by whose permission do you stand before me? This castle is the domain of King Vendrick. Is your trespass intentional? His Highness. Where has he gone? Vigor. You are a guest of our castle. I am the Chancellor, Belaga. Do you seek an audience with my lord, King Vendrick? Unfortunately, his highness is absent. My lord, the king has... The queen has taken him. Where? My lord made magnificent findings on souls. An accomplishment for the ages. He vanquished the four great ones and built this kingdom upon their souls. Our king has watched over this land since ages long, long ago. King Vendrick, we must fight back, or the giants will take Drangleic. The king had a dear queen, a woman of unparalleled beauty. Long ago, the Queen came to us, alone, from a faraway land. She warned our Lord of the looming threat across the seas, of the giants. The King crossed the ocean, and defeated the giants, with the Queen at his side. Wow. Yet they invaded... anyway and almost destroyed the land. The king commandeered their power and created the golems. With the golems, the king created this castle to celebrate victory and to show his love, his gratitude to his queen. So those are the strange statues that open the door. Golems. The Queen brought peace to this land and to her king. A peace so deep, it was like the dark. Is this some sort of a dream? Where am I? What 
has happened to our castle. Who are you? And by whose permission do you stand before me? His memory is damaged. Welcome, visitor. Our guests are treated with honor. This is the way of our castle. Tell me if you should require anything. Blend gesture. This one's me! <laughs> he also sells me. Ooh, the Flamberge and a Lucian. Nice. Bracing knuckle ring sh slows equipment degradation. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Magic arrows, lightning arrows, magic bolts and lightning bolts. Sweet. Old radiant life gems, wilted dust herbs, divine blessings and repair powder. He also sells the great magic barrier. Superior mir miracle to the magic barrier. Increases resistance to magic, lightning, fire and dark. The Knights of Mirror are expected to fight honorably with reliance only upon swordsmanship. They only resort to magic the only time they truly need it to face the magic of an enemy. It's an interesting place. I would like all of these, please. My lord made magnificent findings. So that's pretty Even much all of his dialogue. Gone so soon. Be safe on your travels. Well then, I did I just pass through him? I did. I did. Like you can walk through him. Is he a ghost? I don't know. The throne room. The king, queen's... Thrones. And a blood stain. He's facing some kind of enemy that came in from this direction. Pointless. Quite something required ahead. I can't take this but hurrah for anywhere. Be wary of liar. Something's required for me to get here. Something's required for this room, some sort of interaction. And I don't have that. So, I suppose I'll come back to this room. But I, my curiosity was itching to know what was up here. And when we found out, it was the throne room. So now we must trek on to one of the only routes we know. And that is under the castle where we saw some giant statues. Potentially golems. Okay, so we have this room here. A secret ahead. I cannot open this door currently. So yet another thing I can't do yet. And another door I can't open. This was a pointless room. So we must continue on to where that bonfire was. And we had two paths to take. One to the left and one to the right. The left had a lot more bloodstains than the right. That I remember. Since we're down here I'm going to rest at the bonfire, get an extra flask, repair my weapons as I won't be needing to go back up into the main room where the throne room is. Ah, oh god, I love this armor, the cape looks sweet. So, to the right was this king's door, which I require the king's seal to open. I do not have that, so my only option now is to head left into this room. With what seems to be many doors in it. Are these... Whoa. Stone guardians. And they do a lot of damage. Killing the stone guardians fuels the door and opens with the door. Okay, well we'll take this door one at a time. We'll take it one at a time. It's a ruined sentinel, made of stone. It's probably going to come to life. Right, we have a chest here, a wooden one. Looks safe. 
it is. It has dark arrows in it, so it seems this wooden chest contain old memories and items of the Dark Covenant, the uh, Dark Bringers. I should light a torch and light this area up, I think. I may do at some point. Got some loot here. Soul of a Hero, Old Radiant Life Gem, and Monastery Charms. So, I need to pop some of these Radiant Life Gems, because I need to swap to Old Radiant Life Gems now, because I pretty much exclusively will be using those. Turtle Knight, will you wake? An illusion? I don't think it is. They're all coming to life. We found one of those chairs that these people were going on about the dark were sat in. So, the chairs come from Drang Lake Castle. Like a dream. Well, we're finding some answers. But why is everything made of stone? Why is it all petrified? A... Try beggar. Slightly outside, a courtyard, and the floor is made of this sort of goo. A knight who is petrified without a head. And strange looking paintings that almost look like you can walk into them. It also lights up the area now. Something's clearly enchanted about that. Hitting these shoots something. Some kind of flame. Oh boy, right. Oh man, <laughs> they're quite strong, these knights. That's an issue. Thing about of range here. Yep, shit. Well, I only have one choice, and that's to keep trekking on to the outside. Look at that drop. Fucking hell. These golems sure knew what they were doing. Oh look! It's where we were earlier. A lot of bloodstains here. An enemy ahead. Okay. And a fog wall somewhere up in ahead of us. And this is only... What the this is only one of the many doors in that room we went up. Crying faces. They shoot poison. <sighs> Fuck you. Oh my god. Twinkling Titanite, was it worth it? Open sesame. Made it through. The mouths shoot poison arrows. Got it. Making a way higher up. I can hear archers. Hmm. This is going to be brutal. What I notice about their swords is that it reminds me of the Black Knight swords from Dark Souls 1, just the one handed ones. Okay. So far, so good. A large painting of potentially the queen? Right. What's this note say? Be wary of curse. We found the gauntlets, though we are wearing uh, some very powerful... Uh, Gloves here, the engraved gauntlets, they give us a potential crit chance. Rare chance, normal attacks become critical hits, which is very good when, I suppose, compared to the Saiyan Knight gauntlets um, that do offer better de defense and they're slightly um, lighter. They do look cool, but for now, I can get away with using these engraved gauntlets that look suitable. It curses you. Similar to the laughing pots. Why is the painting cursed? 
And I need to be, be wary of a dark spirit, according to a message left here. Invaded by the nameless usurper. And he comes from behind me. Bring it on, nameless usurper. You're not doing a very good job of bringing it. There it is. <laughs> not good enough. A nameless usurper found in the castle. Usurpers are those who usurp the throne and steal the throne even though it's not their birthright. Was the Drang Lake King at one point usurped or attempted? More headless knights. Okay, there's a lot of questions. Oh boy. I have to ask about this area. And I imagine in a very Dark Soul way, there's not going to be that many answers. But look at the architecture of this place, man. It's huge. Ow. <laughs> We have loot down there that we could go get. Eh, fuck it. Let's do it. Oh boy. Not what I intended. Soul of a brave warrior. Overall, not worth it. <laughs> Shit. Well, where the hell are we? Oh, there's a ladder here. Leading down to where that bastard is. Okay. Another ladder leading up. By any chance did I miss this ladder and I made that jump pointlessly? Willing to bet I did. Yep. Yeah, there's a safe way to go down there. You don't have to make the crazy-ass jump I did, but... Hey, who, who, who would you be if not someone who makes crazy-ass jumps? Not a cool guy, that's, that's what you wouldn't be. It's a pretty flawless sentence if you ask me. Not retardedly said at all. Ooh, don't fall down. What are you doing, you son of a bitch? Alright. Gonna pop a Radiant Life Gem, because I've got to get rid of some of these. Is this going to be a trap? No. Surprising. Hunter's Black Bow and 20 Iron Arrows. Wow, that sounds cool. The Hunter's Black Bow? A black bow de designed for long distance, difficult to handle at first, and requiring some amount of practice to master, the hunting goddess Elimviana was no goddess at all, but rather a brave and highly skilled bow huntress. Long after her demise, the passing of law transformed her into a deity, so someone who was very good with a bow, and ultimately was so good that they became known as a god, even though they weren't one. Kind of cool. Has an S scaling on dex, an E on strength. Requires 9 strength and 25 dex. This very well could be the bow of the playthrough. The one that uh, we use. Sounds cool to me. Looks pretty cool, but not really that special. But yeah, I, I suppose I'll use this as my bow. It uh, has an S scaling on dex, so I expect it'll be suitable. It does put us over the 70%, so I'll try and keep it off. But that will be the bow that I use as a priority. Quick question. Does it cost any, like, weight to be wearing arrows? No, it doesn't. So I'm just going to have them on at all times. So I'm able to instantly swap them. Sweet. Okay. Um, that is back again where we came from. And we dropped down here. So I should go back up. Reminds me a little bit of Skyrim. I know this will annoy some people, but the whole, uh, not the land, not Dark Souls itself, but that story of that hero that was so good with a bow that they became known as a god. Th isn't there a god that's in uh, Skyrim that ultimately was just a man, but faced down a dragon and was their king, and they referred to him as a god in the end? Um, those uh, blue guys that were so fond of him. Been a while since I played Skyrim, guys. Give me a break. Is that the queen? I believe it is. Why is the queen just here? This seems like either an illusion, too good to be true, or a trap. Liar. Not here. You can't actually physically get to her from here, but you can talk to her. Let's pop on the binoculars and look at her. She's very, very slender. Incredibly so. But she doesn't look hollow or insane. She looks 
totally sane. How is that possible? You have fought admirably on your journey, cursed undead. I am Nishandra, Queen of Dranglik. A true monarch carries the weight of their souls. The last king of this land, King Vendrick, as he was called. He found the strength to rule his people, and when the undead were born, cursed. He found more strength to face them. But in the end, he never took the true throne. Visit Vendrick. We have no need for two rulers. She told me a little bit of backstory about the land, a little bit of backstory on Vendrick the king himself. She told me that he never truly took the throne. To visit him and that we have no need for two rulers. Vendrick originally defeated the four old ones, back when they weren't even old, took their souls, took their power and became king of Drang Lake. We have defeated the four old ones now. We are here at Drang Lake Castle. Are we going to become king? She has nothing more to say to me. Are we begin are we honestly is that the main goal? It's a strange circle and a fog wall. Is that some sort of arena? Look at the statues around it. It surely it looks like it. There is a lot of this area to explore, and I intend to explore every last detail, every last corner. But I'm not stepping away from this now. Dragon Rider. Two Dragon Riders. At once. Okay, one's throwing spears at us, and one fight, fights us. Got it. Nope. No, they just come down. But fortunately for me, they take a lot of damage. But they also dish it out, so I'm going to be careful. Okay. One is using a bow, so I can deal with that. But I do need to dodge these attacks or I will die. Ah, I tried to roll. Alright, two at once is difficult. I've got to be quick and I've got to be efficient. And I was neither of those things. I do not appreciate that. Man, they absolutely wrecked. Holy shit. Enough stamina. Ah, oh, that was the kill right there. That was the kill. And that's kind of me fucked. Yep. Please roll. Please roll. I'm dead. Fuck. They've done something different every single time I've been in the room. This is piece of piss with a shield. This is where my character falls short. Okay, I've been dying because I've not kept a level head when I've gone in there. I've tried to bowl through. Okay. One flame strafe is what we can get rid of, get away with. At the start here. And the power stance is back. I was trying to dodge an arrow there. I do need to actually dodge those, though. That's the issue. They're very strange timing, I feel. And I could barely fucking see what was happening. The next hit, dead. Gotta get that flask off. The timing, man. It's just like a really long slash, I guess. I'm not used to it. There. That's one down. One dead. Now just for the weak one. There. 
Patience is key. Wow, that damage. Wow, my power attack wrecks. Oh, we did it. <laughs> should not have been that hard, man. It should not have been that hard. But it was. For some reason. We uh, got a Dragon Rider Soul there, I believe, that I kind of instantly put away. Yeah, Dragon Rider Soul. Two at once, man. From software. You bastards. <laughs> you bastards. All right, what are the messages saying? Try hiding place. Good idea to hide from the uh, guy. Shame I didn't really see that during the fight. Hurrah for victory. Praise the sun. What is this? Some sort of pedestal made out of entire, entire gold. This room actually... No, actually look at it. It's covered in gold stuff, I think. It's like random gold items. Very confusing. Ah, and a bonfire. Hello. Been a while. Been a while indeed. That's a player. How are you doing, bro? I did not expect to see you here. Oh, well met, friend. Good to see you well. Yes, <laughs> very good indeed. I journeyed from the distant east to perfect my swordsmanship. A legend has it that powerful beings slumber in this land. This sword has been in my family for generations, and only a real man can wield it true. I may face any man or a man or beast, but none shall be a match for my sword. <laughs> Very happy about that sword, aren't you? This land is the right mess, eh? King's gone. The people have a mad glint in their eyes. The land itself is overrun by terrible beasts. No better place to test my sword, eh? <laughs> You're not wrong. You know, I quite like your chipper humour. This land is... I don't know why you're here, though, but you promised to help me, and I expect you to fulfill that uh, promise, friend. I expect it. So you should move on now. Yep, he's gone now. His message is, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> Alright, Jesus, guys. Bunch of fucking emos going on here. Range battle ahead, therefore wary of left. Alright, well, this is a huge castle. We have achieved some things inside of it today, but we still have more. So I'll save that for next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry I knew a bit up on that boss fight there. I shall see you tomorrow for the more Dark Souls. Have a great day, guys.